Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Developer Minded SEO and this is the 50th video in our channel and I want to thank each and every subscribers and viewers who are watching this channel and giving me the positive hope and feedback to continue this channel. So in today's episode, I'm going to discuss with you uh, some of the issues uh, which are raised under Google Search Console, particularly about sitemap. So when you when you are submitting the sitemap to the Google under Google Search Console, you may raise some of issues like sitemap couldn't fetch or URLs not accessible or URLs are not allowed. So uh, these are some of the top issues when you rise when you submit sitemap to Google Search Console. So uh, before uh, getting to fix the issues, you must to know understand the basic guidelines of sitemap and what are the basic things to remember when you are submitting the sitemap to Google. So if you understand these basic guidelines very strong then it will be easy task for you to fix any other issues uh, regarding sitemap while submitting it to Google. So this video will be so helpful for you if you are looking to fix any issues surrounding sitemap when submitting to Google via Google Search Console. So before getting into this video, if you are new to this channel, I'm Ish, Search Engine Marketer. And do you want more videos about technical SEO or page speed optimization or conversion rate optimization? Then don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Let's get into the video. Okay, let's jump in to discuss on how to fix the sitemap errors, which is raised under Google Search Console. So here is my website, developerminded.seo.com, where I have uh, written about the uh, how to fix sitemap couldn't fetch error issue and other common uh, sitemap errors, which is raised under Google Search Console. So okay, if you want, you can log on to developerminded.seo.com and check the post. So here are the basic few things I have listed that you need to keep remember before going to fix the sitemap issues. So if you if you clear on this process, then it will be a very easy task for you to fix the any kind of sitemap issues raised under Google Search Console. Number one, it is always recommended to create the sitemap at the root folder of your website. Number two, submit sitemap to the preferred version under Google Search Console. Number three, avoid any duplicate or redirected URLs or 404 URLs listed within the sitemap. Use only absolute URLs within the sitemap. Avoid using relative URLs. Know about the maximum sitemap size. The last tip is check the sitemap is not blocked by robots.txt file and check whether all the URLs listed within the sitemap is not blocked by site, uh, robots.txt2. So these are the most important uh, things you need to remember uh, when creating the sitemap and submitting it to Google so you can clearly understand where the issue is. So number one, create sitemap at the root of the website. So if, uh, if this is the, if you are, for example, if you are having a domain name.com website and you need to place the sitemap right here. So if you placed under, under, uh, under as a subdirectory, it is not um, it is not wrong, but all the URLs which are listed under the folder root directory folder will not be uh, accessible via the site inside within the sitemap. So you so Google will raise an error URL not allowed. So check whether you are uploading your sitemap at the root directory 
not any other subfolders. Number two, check whether you have submitted the sitemap to the preferred version on the Google Search Console. So, uh, if you are work, if your website is, if you are preferring not WW version as a preferred version, under Google Search Console, you need to submit the sitemap under the same preferred version property that is non WW version. If you are going to submit the sitemap under WW version, which, which is you have already listed in the Google Search Console, then Google couldn't find fetch the sitemap. So this is major issues if, if you get sitemap couldn't fetch error. So check whether you are submitting the sitemap under the right URL. If so, uh, you can also inspect the URL and check whether the URL is available for Google to crawl. If not, you can easily verify where is the problem. So for a golden rule, make sure you have submitting the sitemap to your preferred version. If you are following non-WW version, then go and submit the sitemap under non-WW version. So check double double check when you are submitting the sitemap and number three avoid non-canonical urls redirected urls or 404 status urls within the sitemap this also includes some of uh, unimportant pages or thin pages which are listing under the sitemap usually you won't get any errors for uh, having these urls within your sitemap but basically, if you have any duplicate URLs or redirected or 404 URLs within your sitemap, then you are wasting your crawl budget as well as you are. This impacts the crawling um, search engine crawling give search engine crawler give then less importance to your more important pages which you intend to be crawled. So be careful and as much as possible use clean urls that is 200 ok http status code signal urls within the sitemap and number four use absolute urls rather than using relative urls so absolute urls as much as possible give the full url not a relative url so google has um, difficulty in crawling the URLs which is listed under sitemap. So it is their recommendations to follow absolute URLs list within the sitemap. And understand the maximum sitemap size. So the maximum sitemap size is 50 MB when it is uncompressed and this can contain up to 50,000 URLs. So for larger website that is above 50,000 URLs, you can have breakdown into webs. Uh, you can break down into uh, several sitemaps and you can compile the sitemap using index sitemap. So if you want any videos on how to create a sitemap or how to generate an XML sitemap, please let me know in the comment section. I can make an, another video for it to do how to create a sitemap and submit it to, to Google. I can show. So if you for have listed up exceeding the size above, we'll show you sitemap file size error. Your sitemap exits the maximum file size limit. And at last, I would like to uh, check whether the sitemap is not blocked by robots.txt file. So under for all website, you can find the robots.txt file under the root directory. So if you type the site name and slash robots.txt, you can find the robots.txt file. Under that, the sitemap should not be blocked. In this example, I have shown you a sitemap blocked by the robots.txt file and a folder. And a folder, a pages within this folder are blocked to crawl. So it should not be listed any sitemap blocked within robots.txt file. 
and that's it from today's video and i hope you have learned new things from this video and if you find it useful don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you have any technical seo questions don't forget to leave your question in the comment section and see you on another useful video until then this is ish